Hello everybody. Well, a new video again today. And we are down Raglan Street. Where the dirty dock is. I got the movie star. And here's the dirty dock. it is it's been attacked just like everything else that stands empty in Babu it attracts certain people that's around here show you some more the upstairs one so I think this has been vandalized from the inside out even that there even the very top window it's had some unwanted attention it was for sale it still is I think for hundred thousand I don't know that all the furniture and everything inside has been taken out. Nice crack up there. They used to have a flat at the top. You get access to it through this door. A long time ago. Nature's moved in. I'm curious to know what will we come of it? What can you do with it? If you don't want pubs anymore, change its use. Yeah. Hard to say. I have had some good nights in here, I must admit. Got the usual graffiti. I will be doing another video on uh, pubs and hotels in Balo, so I'm not going to give too many details away about this. What we're doing today is finding. vandalized buildings and wasteland that's not being used it just sits there doing nothing right so we can move on to our next destination see you in a bit we are now on Cavendish Dock Road and this is some more wasteland. It's been sat here for years and nothing's been done with it. I should have a cross the road in a minute and show you some other. Sat empty land for how many years? Have a look. This used to be the scrapyard. I had a compulsory purchase order in 2008, I think they were put out of. Due to the credit crunch, then we had Brexit, then we had the lockdown. They just started working on the land. I can hear the breaking up the concrete. So what's that? 14 years. Just took them. 14 years allowed people to go trespassing and what to no good. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. 
all these buildings they've been empty for ages a bit further up they're still working on cars but it is a minimum place and at the very end there's a cars and van sales I'm not sure if that very end building was actually purchased I have no idea It's supposed to be building, I think it's dockside apartments all the way along here. bit of a garage going on um, got a feeling they'll be moving soon We used to be very busy down here at one time when I first came to Bowen. Very busy. Even in the scrapyard myself after bits on several occasions. Something been lighting the fire. More bottles. They soon get smashed, no doubt. It's getting windy again. Oh, the shed. The bygone Ava disappeared. Good old scrap yard. That's the base of a caravan. What's left of it? <laughs> Make good car trailer then. And this is a, that's a good bit of road, but a bit of parking. This leaves off on the road right there. And this is the car sales. I have a thing like to say, I don't think this. It's going to be knocked down, I don't know. I think they might have escaped. Yep, yeah. 2008. Well, they are now 2022. They're all fenced off, They're ready to be worked on. You can just see the, the hammer drill thing where they call it, the jackhammer. You can hear it, breaking up the concrete. There we go, we'll move on, see what else we can find. in a bit. There the USB. Disused and run down for God knows how many years. I think they call this. The edge is a strand I think. It's on Hardy Street. It's a bit short but it's Hardy Street. to him. No idea what it was. I'm sure someone will let me know. 
and who there is and higher grade school and the new doctors Alfred Barrow Medical Center whatever it's called so it's starting to reclaim yard Obviously a building once. Well, I think it was. I know it's for sale. I've seen it on the internet up for sale. It's been like this for years. We sell a big dumb with it. And at the back of the owl being Hotel. Yeah, it's for sale, land for sale. This is the land, it's actually a roof over there because there's buildings right over underneath. There you go. The edge of town. Darwin Hotel being on. That's a crack at nights in here. See what else we can find. <clears throat> the old auction house. And it's empty. I don't know if it's actually been sold, but it was up for sale. It certainly had better days. I'm not going to see it. Ah, this I will say it used to be a church as well, or a school or something on them lines. All my time there is a an inscription on the front, but it's that weathered. Yeah, you can't read it. <coughs> Presbyterian. I can't read the rest. There's a date there, I think it says 1808. Presbyterian sounds religious. And it's empty. And it's on School Street. Off the Oldham Street car park. Close up, always being monitored. I have been in here, I've been in here a few times. So you can find things to buy. Lecture Hall, Presbyterian Lecture Hall, 1868. I can see it better now. Let me say it's a listed building. And wave to the camera. Sitting here doing nothing. The building on the end there has had better days as well. Unless it's all part of it. This land. This has been this land for years. They actually turned it into like a park area. A playground. This is this is one. Playground closed for refurbishment. It was never a playground, it was a tip. If you saw it before. Here we go, 
Cloud Nine, the lounge. Nothing to do with this park. Come out of it. The Cloud Nine. Ah, she continued. It's been empty for absolute years. And guess what stops it round this back alley? Yes. Someone's had a new kitchen fitted. This is still in use but it's closing, it's up for sale. This one, it's up for sale if you want it. It takes some work to do that building. Oh, well, second hand shop. My first game here, I made a little money, I spent quite a lot in here. Covers and things. Oh, it's open. Garboard oh, there. This is Greengate Street. The sale with Herdman Home. Let's see in a bit. We are now on Allison Street by Barrow Christian Fellowship. And movie star has spotted a cat. 1931. And next to it used to be, I'm sure it was a church, at the old part of the church. It was demolished. As you can see. It's been an incredible amount of years. They did turn up once and moved all this soil around and did a little bit of work on it. Put fences round, which do no good whatsoever, and it just sits there. Just collecting more and more rubbish. There's not even a notice or planning permission or anything on this. It's just been left. Only in Barrow. I'm sure there's other towns around that tell me different. People that tell me different. Well, it's a be one. We have one more place. We're all in the mystery. And this is what I've come to look at. Old oh, Queen's Arms Hotel. This was sold approximately in 2009. Sold, it closed, sorry, in 2009. It was later sold. It's an absolute magnet for vandalism. But look at the state of it. You can see the roof's gone up there. All the windows have been pushed out. That's had to be bricked up. We've got anti-vandal paint on it, but well, that's obviously doing its job. But it, I know it's a listed building, but well, that's beyond repair now. back street down in the nose let's see if we can get round a bit more of it these sort of buildings I'd love to have a look inside but um, I don't think it'll go down very well if I'm caught so let's view it from a distance I've actually been in here once 
16 years ago I came in here. It was busy. Look at this. Secured by whoever they are. Property and people protected 24 7. Well, I must admit, I'll leave you out there on the back. You're doing a cracking job. There you go. You get boarding it up, boarding up. And their answer is anti vandal. Let's stick a camera in here to see what we've got. That's all overgrown. Can't see much. All the windows are gone. What a crying shame. We'll see a bit more up here. That sun's in the way a bit. The holes in there, they get holes in the roof. Let's go up in the attic. Oh, sticks and things and blood a bit. Some good old fashioned roof and slate on there. Whoever owns this should be prosecuted for allowing it to go to this state being a listed building. Well there we go. Going around some empty properties, some wastelands. Don't seem to let anyone was interested in doing anything about them. I was um the lockdown doesn't help, but these were empty well before the lockdown. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I love you to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Give it a thumbs up. Share if you wish. Leave your comments. Till next time. Bye bye.